so welcome to the video. I understand it's pretty dark, um, so you can't really see my pretty face, but we are in Kalsok. Got here, had a very long travel day. Started at Koh Tao at, I think I left the hostel at 8.30, 8.45. Then took a ferry, took a coach, then took a van and ended up getting to Khao Sok at about six o'clock. So very long travel day. But yeah, I arrived at my hostel, put my bags away quickly because I had to be on a night safari literally at seven. So it was such a quick turnaround, but managed to do it. All good. Now I am recording this after I've been to the night safari. Oh, there's literally no light. You're literally looking at a blank black space. You see any light from this? I don't know, maybe. But yeah. Um, I've just been on the night safari, but I didn't really know how to intro it, so I will explain what the night safari is because I had no idea what it was going into it. So the night safari was, we got there at seven, it lasted until nine. They took us to the national park, which is here, that costs 200 baht to get in. And then we could see loads of little night critters going around it was like a normal trail that you would just walk and there were things all on the ground um yeah uh, i'll show you all in the footage i don't know how much i'm gonna throw up because um i don't know how much the gopro could actually record because it really was dark and i know the gopro really struggles when it comes to things that are dark so yeah but uh, yeah i'll roll the the clips hope you enjoy and then i will catch you very loud bike i will catch you uh, yeah, once I get back from the uh, the night hike. The snake? Yeah. yeah. This one we call the green viper huh? or regular fish viper snake. They have a poison. Oh. Yeah, but that one, if you see them in the daytime, they have black and yellow color. Mm -hmm. Different female. Oh. Yeah, if male, they have just only green color. Oh. Right. But this one, the poison, but when they bite you, they is not, the uh, you is not that. Okay. okay. Only when they bite your hand, you have to broken from your flat, and then you have, have to cut your hand oh. out. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's a little, little baby one. Oh, this one. It's got the long tail. Yeah, it's long tail. He's the poisonous one. It's more poison. Family of the chameleon. Oh, yeah, but this one they cannot change the color. Oh. Yeah, but we call the forest lizard. It's just brown. Yeah, only oh. brown. Make them die, cannot change the color. Oh yeah, it's like you know. Yeah, it's like a come off of the tree. <laughs> yeah. right? He's cool. Yeah. This one is no more side of that. No. It can be the big or just only this side. Okay. Wake up. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> monkey, monkey. Uh, one lie is better. He show you. He's in the spotlight. I'm not sure which way they're gone. <laughs> They're making some good noise. Um, <laughs> I speak frog. That sounded like you were close. Gotta go. Can't run away from the snake. Where is it? It's the same one when we saw before, green wipers. Oh yeah, but actually on yeah. top. But this one bigger more, no? Eh? A lot bigger. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. wow. Right, so we just finished the night jungle tour. I don't think you can really see my face. Ooh. I'm just walking back now from where they dropped us off at the hostel. They they dropped us off at a hostel, but it wasn't my hostel because I booked too late and couldn't get part of that hostel. So right now I'm like a seven minute walk back to mine, which isn't terrible. So yeah, um, it was good. I enjoyed it. It was really fun. As you could see, there was a lot of nice little like critters around and monkeys and stuff. So yeah, my favorite of it all though was the frogs. The frogs are so cool. I love the little noise that they made. Yeah, it was sick. So yeah, I'm just walking back and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow morning. Right, so it is the morning. I have woken up about eight o'clock. Now making my way down to the Coco Hostel which is where my activity departs from. I'm gonna go meet Wiggles and Millie down there. And I think a girl who we call, who's called Camille, I think her name is. Um, yeah, so meeting them lot down there. I, it leaves at nine o'clock. Hopefully I'm gonna get some free breakfast there. It's currently 22 nine. So fingers crossed it's still like on and I can just get something quick before leaving. I've packed my day bag, which, oh shit, there's a coach which I've got to use because I should be, hopefully, staying on the lake tonight in the Cow Sock National Park, which would be really cool. So yeah, that's what this is for. Hopefully I've packed everything that I need to. I've got like towel, change of clothes, uh, swimming trunks. Then I got like bug spray, hat, yeah, I've got a decent amount, so hopefully it's enough in there. I am leaving my massive water bottle behind because it actually doesn't fit in this bag. So that's got to stay with my with my rucksack. But the rucksack's going to go in the Coco Hostel, so it will be nice and safe. But yeah, so currently just walking along. It's pretty much just one road all the way down um, to the National Park. And that's where all the hostels are all sat on. Nice little hotel there. Yeah, my hostel wasn't too bad last night. It felt a little bit like an A&E waiting room. Um, it had like blue curtains all over the place, which yeah, very much felt like I was in a hospital. But the bed was like kind of hard, but I think I was so tired I managed to sleep through it anyway. Slept at about half 11, then woke up about, about half seven. So a solid eight hours sleep, so that's fine. It's, uh, it's pretty good. And yeah, feeling fresh, feeling ready, but yeah, these roads I'm walking are to the National Park and hopefully it's gonna be a good day. So we got on the coach and it took about an hour and a half. And now we're all in like a big tour group. There's like a load of us, all these people in the shot are 
pretty much part of our tour group. And we're going to be going down there, I believe, getting these boats like these people and set off down the National Park. Look at that view, that's so nice. And we'll be trekking down. Apparently he said it's going to be about an hour long boat journey. And then we'll get to our huts maybe. But yeah, stunning. So good, I'm so glad I brought my GoPro with me. Yeah, so at the moment it's all toilet break. Everyone's just lining up for the toilets. Uh, the costs of getting in here, you had to pay 200 pounds to get to the National Park, but I've done that yesterday already with the night safari. So I think it was only 40 baht to get in today, like an extra day, which was nice. Uh, but yeah, they all have like loads of like extra costs on top of it, but I mean, if the place looks like this, I understand why they'll give like a little bit more extra of that. Yeah, very nice. First bit of wildlife we're seeing, some fish. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> and we're getting in these boats. There's quite a few of us. I don't know how many boats we're going to take up. Wait here. We're together. 20. Yeah. Okay. All three? 21. Yeah. 22. Thank you. I thought it was just 20 was the max. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to sink the boat. It was only a 20 person one. No, not really. Oh, it is rocky. videos of just mountains on mountains just next to the lake. This YouTube video is going to end up being about 40 minutes long and it's just going to be all views and all throughout <laughs> the Kalsok National Park Lake. Woo! Oh, it's so cool. Do you, do you like voice over them? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. 
No, I just use whatever's on the footage. Just raw footage. <laughs> yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah, she caught one. Oh, yeah, young fish are full. Oh, they're doing really well when they get caught. Oh, hi. With the hype. With the hype. Up there. I always stop. I stop. 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 That is a dead fish. All right, hello, hello. So we've made it to the little huts along the lake that is in um, Khao Sok National Park. So this is where we're staying for the night. We could have gone on a tour, which has just gone off now. You can see those boats going. It's an amazing view as well. We could have gone on a tour of some caves, so they're going caving, but it was a lot of, they said it was gonna be quite deep um, and yeah, very dark. And to be honest, I'm out here to see nature. I don't really care about looking inside some caves and like struggling to fit through. I'm quite tall as it is, so it gets a bit worrying if I can fit through certain things. So it did appeal to me, so I decided to stay here. Um, Wiggles and Millie are also here. So yeah, at least I have some people to hang out with. But yeah, this is the view of what we've got outside of our room, which is sick. I'm mean, gonna walked up a little ways um, so let me walk down to the room. But yeah, so it took us about an hour to get here, as you can tell by probably the amount of videos that I took. Um, it was very picturesque all throughout. We got here, they gave us some lunch, which was very basic, wasn't anything too special, just like some chicken curry with rice. But it was decent. And yeah, then we got assigned our rooms. So me, Wiggles and Millie are staying with the guy I think his name was Jonas or Jonas or something like that. Um, but he's gone on the trip now, so it's just us three in the room. But yeah, let me show you the rooms. Can I get down to it? These are all the little huts. Go down. And then there's like a little swimming area there that you can go in. And this is our hut. Are you guys decent? Cool, that's right. I'm showing the viewers the um, the place. This is our room. This is their bed. That's my bed. And then this is, what's his name? Johans. Johans. That's Johans' bed. I think it's going to like get set up below us or something. But if I come in, and this is the view from my bed, looking out, which is so nice. <laughs> and we can see some little fishies through the floorboards. <laughs> So that's our fun pastime of being here, as well as braiding hair, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it looks really nice. And then I think we'll just like watch the sunset or something today, go swim in um, and chill out. And then, yeah, go for a walk tomorrow and see what it's all about. I, um, I booked my tickets to go to um, Phuket for tomorrow. So we'll find out uh, what that's like. But yeah, amazing views, very nice. Cool place to stay. So we decided to come out kayaking. Got my kayak out, mind the feet. Um, got my oar. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Millie's back there. 
she's also decided to come kayaking. Doing all right. That's where we stay in, all the way back there. And this is where we are. It's am decent. I'm gonna go have a look around some of these little, uh, little islands. Um, yeah. Sorry, I don't know about you. <laughs> Collision course. <laughs> where do you think we should go? Maybe there? Yeah, I'd say that way, and then we could just go like around the island if we want to, and then come back. Cool. Yeah, because the current's going this way. Yeah. Yeah, we won't go too far with that. No, okay. But yeah, it's good fun. Sun's setting ish, got about probably an hour left of it. It's a bit grey. Hour and a half. It does look a bit grey, but the mountains look so cool. Just around the area, how high they all are. And my kayak has decided to turn and I'm going into shore, so I'm going to start recording, but so nice. And well, uh, we came here to try and see some monkeys, but unfortunately, I don't think there's any about. But we did hear some. We can't hear anymore. Oh, it's so nice and calm and quiet. It says as he slaps his oar into the water. Yeah, I can't see anything. No, all the wildlife has run away from us. <laughs> yeah. At least we get to see a kind of sunset. It's not there yet, yeah. but we won't be able to see it from where our cabins are. Apparently it's more of a sunrise place, so we'll see if we get up early enough mm -hmm. for a sunrise. Okay. Yeah. So I, uh, I stayed back a little bit and decided to look at a bit of nature. So I literally was sitting over there just chilling, listening to all the animals. It was really nice, really peaceful, really zen. You know, just like listening to all the bird calls, hearing a few like the branches snap. Um, yeah, it was really nice. So now I'm about halfway through at the lake, all the way back to um, the always stay in. But the sun on all like the mountains out here is just still insane. Like and the clouds in the background just look so cool. Look how big those mountains are over there, like just sitting in the middle of the lake and they're just surrounded by mountains, nature, everything. Like, look at that, look at the sun behind that. Yeah, just kind of thinking of how lucky I am just to be here. Like this is the middle of a, just a national park. And it's so quiet. And so nice. Yeah, very happy, very happy. So this is the food. This is everyone eating. And we've got a big fish mm. in front of us. We've got, what was it, Massaman curry, they said. With like potatoes um, and stuff in it. There's pineapple here, like salad, stuff, greens, rice. It's tasty, but the fish is so good. And it's so salty as well. The fish, yeah, it's really nice. It's really good, isn't it? Really good. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put that on the camera so I can serve. <laughs> How good it is to see the full moon. That over. No, don't, don't hurt I'm it. I'm not going to hit it. Just gently nudge it. No, because yeah. I was, was going to go in my bag. No, it's going to boing. It's going to boing? <laughs> I've seen the cartoons. I know what they do. Hey. Oh, he's out. It's out nice. It's out. But what if he just comes through it? I thought you were choking. He'll just come straight through the window. What are the chances of that? <laughs> <laughs> it just boing.
Oh, I'll run back. It's all right, completely natural. Right, so we have finished our boat trip. Came on a little van, which is like over there. And now we're eating our food. Millie's bought us some waters. Mm -hmm. Some mini waters. Little mini waters. And food-wise, we've got rice. How is the rice? Very good. Yeah. Slightly flavorless, but very good. <laughs> I put a bit of salt can fix. We're having a little- Most soy sauce would be right just right. <laughs> Very true. We're having a little family lunch together. Mm. <laughs> it's a good try, right? uh, so we have finished all of our expedition stuff with GoCo Hostel. We got back about an hour ago, just kind of showered. You can tell my hair's like, yeah, proper frizzy. And me and Millie just walked down the road. We're on our honeymoon. <laughs> 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 and we got just basically some uh, yeah, cheesy garlic bread because we had lunch with 
Coco Hostel, but ended up being just like rice, and that was it. So yeah, we wanted something a bit better, a bit bigger. So we've got cheesy garlic bread, <laughs> and we're happy about it though. We're very happy. <laughs> and yeah, nutritious and it's very nutritious. Uh, yeah, then we get on a coach for four hours. So, and then yeah, we get there for about eight o'clock. We'll check in quickly, sort everything out, and then yeah, maybe go out. Partying for a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. It's Millie, Millie's last night in Thailand, so we've got to we've got to make sure that it's um, it's a good night, a night to remember. But yeah. So four hours coach journey, and then probably see you after that.